Hi guys, it's me Ty and I'm back with another unboxing. Here I have is the re-release version of Nendoroid number 418, Alba and Ren from the series Dramatical Murder. Now, I um, of course missed this one the first time around when it first came out, but after getting Nendoroid Noise and after getting Nendoroid Kojaku, I decided of course I can't have the both of them without Alba. So here he is. I was so glad that he was re-released because I was about to purchase him on the aftermarket. Um, and it just was a little bit more reasonable price this way. So yeah guys, I'm going to kind of try to make this quick. Um, I still have my cold, if you guys can kind of hear it in my voice. Yeah, my never ending cold, which I always seem to have. So I'm going to try not to drag this on too long. But um, okay, and so here is the front of the box. As you can see, it has like the design with the blue color to kind of match Alba's um, blue coat and his blue hair, which is really cute. And you can see Alba through here at the front window looking adorable as well. Though I have to admit the way his eyes just kind of stare out straight is really kind of creepy. But um, also you can see one of the main features that comes with this Nendoroid is a complete half body. Um, which you'll see more of what I mean once we get into posing. But yeah, I love this version of it as well. So yeah, here's the top of the box. Alba looking adorable with a run by his side. Bottom of the box, uh, Alba looking even cuter, blushing, and again, his all-mate, Ren. From this side, the poses we've kind of seen. Um, this side, and you can see down here what I mentioned about the half body. Yeah, definitely a cute little pose. And finally, the back. So, yeah, guys, I love all the poses so far. It's, well, not quite this one because those eyes are staring again, but yeah, they're all pretty cute. So yeah, let's get into it. Oh, I just wanted to show you guys real quick. I don't think I showed you guys the first time, but um, as you can see with the blue cardboard here, this indicates that it's the re-release version as the first version of the Nendoroid um, actually came with a special design on its background. So um, if you happen to come across that and you're wondering what's the difference, that is what it is. Um, because it's the re-release, it has just a solid blue background with just the Nendoroid's number on the back. And if it was a first edition, it would have the special design back sheet. Okay, and as we can see, first up is the standard Nendoroid instructions as we've seen a hundred times by now. Except this back page is kind of blank. I'm not used to seeing that, but everything else is pretty normal. Okay, and here is Alba in the blister pack. So yeah, really kind of creepy with just a half of a body in there, but cover that part up and he really does look adorable. Ren's up here and there's only seems to be one extra pair of arms as well as only one extra faceplate. So not really that much with him but considering he has a whole half body with him that's more than enough. Yeah. Okay so first up we have the standard extra Nendoroid neck joint which we've seen as well as the standard Nendoroid base. Pretty much the same square base except you might notice it's way more see-through than the Nendoroid base typically is. They tend to be more opaque and this one is pretty clear, which I think is cool. It blends more in the background. I don't know why it's like that, but yeah, I like it. Wish they did it like this all the time. And finally, here we have the standard Nendoroid arm for the base. Um, the only difference is, which I didn't notice until I opened it, I wish it would focus, but um, you guys can't tell, but it kind of has like a slant up here. Can you see? Um, so it has kind of a weird shape at the tip. So I wonder like how that's going to affect it fitting into the Nendoroid. If you guys can see. There it is. So yeah, pretty cool. Okay, and before I get into posing, I'm just showing you the extra faceplate that came with the Nendoroid. And it's this squinty-eyed face. I'm not sure how else to call it. He does seem to be smiling, but his eyes are like completely closed shut. So really cute. I think it's really adorable. Yeah, there it is. It actually comes with two extra face plates, except that face plate is attached to the half body, um, which I'll just show when I get into posing it. So yeah. Okay guys, first pose up and it's our first opportunity to look at Alba without all his plastic on. As you can see, he really is adorable and Ren is cute himself. Um, 
he does look a bit crooked doesn't he and that is because I did as anticipated have a bunch of issues with um, putting his peg in his back to attach him to the base it was so hard guys it really just didn't want to get in there um, the hood looks crooked as I don't know if you guys can tell but it's actually a separate piece from the puff jacket um, it actually works as kind of like a loop underneath the neck onto the coat so to kind of get the arm in the back as you can see it really does bump into the arm right here so you kind of have to kind of lift it up a bit just to get the peg in the back and since it's pretty hard to get in there anyway you can imagine all the trouble I was having getting this pose together oh and as you can see Ren himself also dropped off which I don't think I showed earlier when I showed the pieces but here is Alba's all mate Ren isn't he adorable especially with his little pink tongue sticking out it looks really weird he's pretty tiny but really adorable um as you notice his head does kind of have like a slight peg to it so it does turn but he's so tiny he actually has like appearance of a little cat but nope he's his dog type all meat and quite adorable so I'll sit him over here um but yeah that scene with the dog here and how Alba standing was supposed to recreate how um, he was uh, his appearance on the games jacket of the disc but um I just kind of messed that up is <laughs> no other words to kind of put it in but he's still adorable even though his eyes do still have that creepy stare looking into the camera but um as you can see I really do love this outfit I just have to figure out a better way to keep it intact with the peg uh, I love how you can see with his dark blue hair as I turn it around with the spikes in the back and though it's technically a separate part you can see where his hair is supposedly sticking out from his jacket here even though it's really not attached to the headpiece at all you can also see um, Alba's characteristic pink headphones around his neck which is actually attached to the hood part that's the extra separate piece so yeah here he is pretty cute really adorable I kind of don't want to move him around so much since he is kind of fragile and fall off the peg. Um, but I love the way they really did pay a lot of detail to his belt and to his sneakers. They're really cute. Even the jacket, they really did put all the details as it is in the game. Even with um, the Brain Nuts logo right here. So yeah, really cute. Really love this. I just wish it wasn't so hard to keep on the base. So far he seems sturdy now, but if you guys knew how long it took me to get this pose in place, uh, yeah, you'd be just as frustrated as I am. So yeah, let's move okay, on. Okay, and before I go on, I just want to show you this is what I meant about the hood being a separate piece. Because you can see the headphones is on the edge. And it actually looks a bit weird, but yeah, the hood's not attached to the coat at all. Here is the top portion of the torso. And you can see here also what I mentioned about the pieces of his hair sticking out of his jacket, but not actually being a part of his head. So, yeah, that's basically it. Okay, guys, next pose up, and I'm not quite sure what to call it, but it looks as if Alba is smiling and inviting you to come over, I guess. Is that what this face is supposed to be? I'm not quite sure, but it is pretty cute, especially, again, with Ren standing there next to him. Um, again, it doesn't look quite as good as it does on the side of the box because, again, I had the issue with the peg in the back. Um, and so you can see, again, his hood is also crooked. Ah, guys, I wish I could love this Nendoroid, but the more I have issues with that peg, the more I'm beginning to hate it. But um, he is still really cute, and I do really love his colors and his designs. Uh, as I mentioned before, blue is one of my all-time favorite colors, next to pink. And uh, so, yeah, it's a part of me that really loves this Nendoroid because of all of that. But um, yeah, the peg in the back. But um, as you can see, not much has really changed with this pose, except this one hand is up and the hand is turned up. Um, this arm is supposed to be down a little bit more with his fist more towards his pocket, uh, but that's about it. Like I said, it would look a little bit better if I could fix it because his head is kind of tilted down as well. Um, but this is the best I can do for the moment. So here's Alba. Okay guys, next pose up and as we can see, Alba's looking a little shy and embarrassed. I'll pull him up a little closer so you can see he's actually wearing the blushing face. 
and his hand is kind of up by his um, hair so he looks like he's a little bashful um, Ren's head is turned to the side so I wonder who kind of who which guy he's giving this look to because it really is very cute this one I actually had really had no problems with it just really is adorable and so far is my favorite of the three poses I've shown so far I wish you guys could just see the face a little bit better as it is covered up with the shadow from his hair but definitely adorable and in case you guys were wondering this faceplate was actually on the half torso so initially I said there was only one extra faceplate technically really there is there's two it's just that um it was on the other body and um, with the other body you you are able to switch out face plates on it and arms and things like that so yeah use this face on this one and this pose came out fantastic kind of turn it a bit like I said I wish you guys can see it but his hair is kind of putting a little shadow over his face but it definitely is adorable okay guys final pose and I have to say I love it I think it's adorable well more than adorable it's just really cool looking um, this was done to kind of recreate um, the cover illustration on the soundtrack CD so here you can see he doesn't have his usual coat on he's kind of topless yep you can kind of see his bare chest and you can see more of his hair the long bits of it that is lighter shade coming down here as well as the pink headphones he always carried around his neck which I really love these headphones they're really very detailed let me look that up you guys can't really see his arm is in a way but very nicely detailed headphones even on this side there's actual writing there but it's so tiny it's very hard for me to read so I won't pretend I can but yeah here's the half body I love it um, like besides this portion like the bottom half you technically kind of have like almost two nendoroids in one package which is really cool um, for most people unless you had another nendoroid you could kind of share parts with um, you can actually make a whole nother one to go on your shelf so say for instance as we know I have this Rokushaku the gold one it will look amazing on it even though I don't even need the, the torso part I can kind of just take the head off but yeah so really cool kind of like you have two nendoroids in one but yeah I love this one a lot I love the last one with the blushing face but I love all the detail on the headphones and he just looks amazing like this really cool you can really see him rocking oh, out and just to mention again I, um, I kind of mentioned in that last pose but yeah this is the original faceplate that was on the main nendoroid in the box um, though this came as one full torso piece you can actually switch out the face plates on this which is really cool I love that so you can put any face with it um, and also the arms move as well you can pull those off I think yeah and you can pop the head off too so yeah not bad overall like I said pretty much two nendoroids in one I did have some of the same slight peg issues on the back of this one as I did with the other one so I'm thinking it's because how this arm piece is made and yeah this nendoroid is originally from 2014 but being that it's a re-release I would kind of hope they would have changed certain things but no so yeah that's it guys final review um I like I still like this nendoroid I'm not as angry with it now as I was in the beginning when I was dealing with the peg issues um, it's still really cute uh, still semi annoyed so hmm, I would love to give this I'll give it about an 8 I'll be generous I mean it technically it doesn't have a lot but considering it has almost a whole nother nendoroid with it I can't complain too much um, and the score would actually be much higher for me if it didn't have the issues with the peg I really hate it so yeah so I want to say it's about seven and a half and eight. I'll be generous and say eight. But um, if you're like me and you don't want to deal with peg issues, I don't know if it's a standard among all of them or if I'm just the unlucky one today. But yeah, I, I still don't regret it. But yeah, I'm just not overall that happy with it. But he's still very cute and he does look well with like noise from the series. So hopefully I can get used to the issues and everything will be fine. But yeah guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.